Thank you, Senator. Um, I have a blow up here to my right of the map that was shown to you. Um, the address that's indicated on here as belonging to your family is what all the property tax records showed as being your address. Okay. Just to put it in perspective, I'd like to show you a, a further out, a zoomed out picture so that uh, we can put it in perspective. Okay. So we can show the greater Washington area. Of course, you can see the beltway on that, the beltway area. Okay. And uh, then number three, if we could look at that. We, uh, we drew a one mile radius around the country club and then we calculated from the furthest Mr. Point Chairman, again, we don't have these documents. No, we're not. That's why she showed three different documents, because they depict three different things. So we'd like to see all three documents, please, so we can follow along. She, uh, proceed, please. Okay. Um, looking at uh, number, the third thing here, mm -hmm. uh, we calculated the distance from the closest point to your house from a mile radius of the country club, um, and then the farthest point. You can see it's, it's 6.2 and, of course, 8.2 miles. Um, and you've described this as being near the country club, wherever this house was. Is that right? I would describe it as be somewhere between my house and the country club in that vicinity that's shown in your picture. Okay. And the country club is about 20, a 20-minute 20 drive from my parents' home. A 20-minute drive, and of mm -hmm. course, I've I've marked yeah. as the crow flies. Yes. Um, would it be fair to say that somebody drove you somewhere, either to the party or home from the party? Correct. Okay. Has anyone come forward to say to you, "Hey, remember, I was the one that drove you home"? No. Okay. Um, in your July 6 text to the Washington Post that you looked at earlier, you said that this happened in the mid 80s. Mm -hmm. In your letter to Senator Feinstein, you said it occurred in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. In your polygraph statement, you said it was uh, high school summer in 80s, and you actually had written in, and this is one of the corrections I referred to early, and then you crossed that out. Um, later in your interview with the Washington Post, uh, you were more specific. You believed it occurred in the summer of 1982, and you said the end of your sophomore year. Yes. Um, you said the same thing, I believe, in your prepared statement. How were you able to narrow down the time frame? I can't give the exact date, and um, I would like to be more helpful about the date. And if I knew when Mark Judge worked at the Potomac Safeway, then I would be able to be more helpful in that way. So I'm just using... Um, memories of when I got my driver's license. I was 15 at the time, and I, I did not drive home from that party or to that party. And once I did have my driver's license, I liked to drive myself, so. Um, I assume the legal driving age was 16? Yes. Okay. Now, you've um, talked about attending therapy. Um, in your text to the Washington Post dated 7-6, so that's the very first statement we have from you. You put in there, quote, have therapy records talking about it. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I understand that. Did you already have your therapy records at that time? I had looked at them online to see if they existed, yes. Okay, so this was something that was uh, available to you via a computer, like a, a patient portal? Actually, no, it was in the office of a provider. Okay. She helped me go through the record to locate whether I had uh, had record of this conversation that I had remembered. Did you show a full or partial set of those marriage therapy records to the Washington Post? Um, I don't remember. I remember summarizing for her what they said. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure if I actually gave her the record. Okay. Um, so it's possible that the reporter did not see these notes. Um, I don't know if she's, I can't recall whether she saw them directly or if I just told her what they said. Okay. Um, have you shown them to anyone else besides count, your counsel? Just the counsel. Okay. 
Uh, would it be fair to say that Brett Kavanaugh's name is not listed in those notes? His name is not listed in those notes. Would it also be fair to say that the therapist notes that we've been talking about say that there were four boys in the room? Um, it describes the uh, sexual assault, and it says uh, erroneously by four boys. So the therapist got the content of it wrong. And you corrected that to the Washington Post reporter, correct? Correct. Senator Whitehouse. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Dr. Blasey Ford. 